Friends, all of us know that the word security architecture is very confusing and designing a security architecture is more confusing as it is difficult to say from where to start and what standard to use and how much it will cover. As most people think security architecture consists of preventive, detective and corrective controls only that are implemented to protect the enterprise infrastructure and applications. So I just want to say it's a misconception that uh, security architecture is nothing more than having security policies, controls, tools and monitoring. Actually security architecture means to understand the business objective and align the security requirements and control so they can mitigate the business risk and can be justified. But due to the fast changing advancement in technology, the security landscape is also changing at a very fast pace. And because of the same, the risk factor, the threats are also changing. Example, the work from home concept changed the concept of protecting the devices which are within the organization parameter. So it is important for all security professionals to understand business objective and also the dynamic changing environment. And the security professional should try to support the business objective by implementing proper controls to mitigate the risk. Enterprise frameworks such as Sherwood Applied Business Security Architecture, SAPSA, COBIT and the TOGAP can help achieve this goal of aligning security needs with business needs. So to define a security architecture of any organization, first we need to keep in our mind that we must use a top-down approach. Start with the business goals, objectives, vision and then move downward. So we can say the first step is to identify the business objective, goals and strategy. Then we need to identify the business attributes that are required to achieve those goals. Once the business attributes are identified, we need to identify all the risks associated with those business attributes that can prevent a business from achieving its goal. And then start identifying the required controls to manage the risk. After doing this, just define a program to design and implement those controls. Then only we can define an architecture for business risk. This conceptual architecture of business risk will cover the governance, policy and domain architecture. It will also cover operational risk management architecture, information architecture, certificate management architecture, access control architecture, incident response architecture, application security architecture, web service architecture, even communication security architecture. After having the conceptual architecture, the next step is to define physical architecture and map the same with the conceptual architecture. This physical architecture must cover the platform security, hardware security, cloud security, network security, operating system security, file security, database security, practices and procedures. Now with this physical architecture in hand, start defining the component architecture and map the same with the physical architecture. In component architecture, we can use security standards such as NIST and ISO for different cases and scenarios. Also in component architecture, we need to take care of the security products and tools such as antivirus, VPN, firewall, wireless security, vulnerability scanner and also we need to cover the web services security like HTTPS, HTTP, application program interface, APIs, web application firewall need to be taken care of. Finally, we need to define the operational architecture which will cover implementation guides, administration guides, configuration, patch management, monitoring, logging, pen testing, access control, change management, incident handling, etc. And then we need to design the architectural components such as policies, user awareness, network applications and servers. So to do all these, we need to use different security architecture frameworks like TOGAF, SAPSA, COBIT, OSA, NIST, ISO. Now where and when to use which framework or standard is one more big question which I will cover in my future videos. So with this much, I'm sure now you have an understanding of the whole process of creating a security architecture of any organization. Thank you friends and keep watching for more videos to keep your learning graph in upward direction.